for many years, I've been running my online business using WordPress. So when I came across system.io, I was very skeptical because you can imagine trying to move my whole system from WordPress into a brand new system. So what I did was I ran it for about a year and a half just to be sure that the decision I was making was very, very solid. And boy, was I surprised. I mean, if you take a look here, I was able to generate 23,256 using system.io. But not only that. I was able to retain my subscribers or my uh, customers, and this system is amazing. Now, let's go through one of the key areas and the key points that make system.io really, really good. So let's start off with uh, the main dashboard. So when we took a look here at the main top line here, this is where all the links are. So right now I'm in my dashboard. And before I go into how system.io works, let me show you what the affiliate dashboard looks like. So if I come over here, you can actually sell system.io and earn some money on the side. So if you take a look here, I've uh, lifetime earnings, that's 1,414, which is not too bad considering I haven't been really promoting it that much compared to my other products that I promote around WordPress. Getting started with system.io is very, very easy. All you have to do is to go to the link that I provided in the video description. So all you have to do to get started is to come over here and add your email address. Now, once you've done that, once you've verified it, pretty much you are good to go. Now, let's take a look at the pricing here because this is where this makes a massive difference. So if we take a look at the free plan, which is $0 per month, you get 2,000 contacts. You have unlimited emails sent. We can also create three sales funnels. And we also have a sales funnel steps of about 15. You can also create one blog, unlimited blog posts, courses. You can have one course. So really, if you're getting up and running and you're on a budget, you can pretty much sign up for the free account just to get you up and running. So you can create one course, start selling that, and then upgrade to the uh, 27 a month or 47 a month or 97 a month. So if we take a look at the UI here, it is very, very easy to find your way. So as I mentioned here, we have your dashboard. So you've got your main dashboard. We also have the student dashboard. Now this is something that wasn't there before, but as you can see here, this is pretty exciting. So here we have courses. So back over here, this is our main dashboard. Now, if you want to take a look at your contacts, this is where you'd go. You come over here. So what I normally do is just to hover, just to see what it is that's down here. So here are your contacts. If you click here, it gives you the whole list of all your contacts. So you can filter them by email, by first name, and so on. And this is pretty much very, very easy to use. So when you have contacts on your mailing list, the most important thing is to be able to segment them based on tags. And this is why you're going to notice that we have here DV Crafter. We also have DV H and F. So these tags help me send emails to specific people that bought specific products. So if I was going to be sending all these emails to one list, this would be quite difficult. But System.io makes this very, very easy. Now, creating a tag is very easy as well. You just come over here to tags. And then right here on the top, you can click here on this plus button and you can just name your tag. Let's move on to the next part, which is the funnels. Now, this is the part which I was really, really skeptical about. So if I click here on funnels, this is going to give me a list of all the funnels on my system. So you can see here my total is 15 funnels. Now, to create one, you can just click here on create and then you can just name this. So I'm going to call this uh, Mac test so that I can just show you how easy this is. Now here is uh, my funnel domain. Now here we can choose either to build an audience to sell and you can also build a custom one or run an evergreen webinar. So for this one here, I'm gonna say sell. You can choose your currency over here, which is fantastic. You can just click here on this drop down, and then you can just scroll through all these currencies and choose the one that works for you. Next, I'm gonna hit save. Now notice what happens. It has now been added onto my list here. So all I have to do now is to click on the Mac test. And now I have this new page where I can start creating all my steps. So the first thing you want to do is to choose your template. So you can see here, we have quite a few templates here. You can choose the one that works for you. So I'm going to say preview so I can have an idea of what the template looks like. So this is pretty cool. Uh, this is the one I would go with. I can come back over here and click on select. Now here's where things get very exciting. So you can either choose to sell a digital product 
or a physical product. And you notice that we have different options here when we choose each one of these, which I really like, by the way, because here straight away it tells you the resources. So in my case, let's say if I wanted to sell a um, PDF, I can just zip it and add it here. Next, I can choose my price plans over here where I can just click here on this plus button and then I can choose my uh, price plan. And then over here, if you want to choose an existing one, you can just choose that one. Now, if you want to create a new one, you can just click on create new. So here, when we go on pricing plan, there's several options. We have a one-time payments, we have subscription, and we also have payment plan. Now, this is something that I was struggling with when I was uh, using WordPress to sell my digital products. Now, sometimes you want to sell a membership. If you use WooCommerce, you would have to pay extra for WooCommerce to get the subscription. But here, we're getting everything all in one package, which I really, really like. In fact, my memberships are running on system.io. And by the way, I have a link in the video description below if you want to go ahead and test out system.io. Okay, so moving on. Here, we can also add our coupons. So as you can see here, the page that we're taking a look at is just the order form. So I really like how simple this is. If you want to move on to automatic rules, automation rules, you can just click over here and then you can start adding all your automation rules. So now you can say, so when there's a new sale, what do you want to happen? So I'm going to click here. So here we have new sale. I can add my rule. Okay, so here I have my new rule. So this rule is going to be activated when someone buys something or when I get a new sale. So what you want to do now is to come over here to these three little dots and then you want to edit automation rule. So you can come over here and then add your action. So the action could be subscribe to campaign or you can add a tag. Now, I really like adding a tag here. And like I said, it's very, very easy to add your tag. And then you can just come over here and choose your tag. So you need to have uh, added your tag beforehand. So let's say someone has bought this product here. I can just say uh, choose save rule. Now, pretty much I'm good to go. When someone purchases this product, they are now going to uh, have a tag added to their name, which is brilliant. Now, let's move on to A-B test. Now, over here on A-B test, this is where you can test landing pages to see which one is performing better than the other. And the one that performs better, obviously, is the one that you want to go with because that's the one that's going to make you more money. So we have the option here. We also have stats, which is pretty cool. Now, notice that the stats here are for this particular funnel, which is Mac test. We also have leads. So this will give you a list of all the leads. Here, it shows you all your sales. And then if you have any deadline settings, you can enable your deadline settings. And by the way, WordPress doesn't have this uh, natively. You would have to buy a separate plugin to have this feature. So as you can see, the UI is very, very easy to use. Let's move on to the next page. So here we have our thank you page. So again, with our thank you page, we can now choose a template from here or you can build one from scratch. So if I say select, now I have my template. Now I wanna show you something very interesting here. If I come back to the order form, you may be wondering, well, how do we edit this order form? Now, system.io has its own page builder, which is very, very easy to use. So if you want to edit the page, you wanna come over here and click on edit page. And now we have our page builder. So if you've used, say, uh, Divi or Elementor, you're going to find this very familiar. So we have our rows here in blue. We also have our um, elements. So let's say I want to go in and make some changes to this. I can just go in and start typing. There we go. Now, let's say you want to change the font. You can just come over here, choose your Google fonts. Now, if you guys watch my tutorials, you know I like Poppins. And here it is. I'm going to go ahead and select that. Now, if you want to make it bold, you can always come over here change this to medium or even bold. So there we go, I'm gonna choose 600. Now colors, you can choose your colors over here. You can add background colors. You know, if you want to add transparency, just drag the slider all the way down here until you don't have any uh, colors. Okay, now you move on, you have your margins, you have your padding. So pretty much what you find in a page builder is how this you know, pretty much works. Now let's say you want to add a new element. You can just come over here and just drag and drop it. So this is a drag and drop uh, builder. So you can come over here again, click in here. Now, if you wanna make any changes, now you notice that this text here is way too close to uh, this information here on the bottom. This is where you can add your margins. So if I click over here, I can now add my margins. So this one here is for left, 
This one here is uh, for the bottom. So you can see as I'm uh, typing or, or as I'm adding my numbers here, this is adding more space below. So this is how you go and customize this. Now, let's say I want to uh, go in and uh, change the text like I did before. You can just come over here, choose your fonts, and uh, let's go with pop-ins again. So just like that, it is very, very easy to use. Now, if you want to add an image, you can just click here on the existing image, and then you want to upload yours by clicking over here on this upload button. So if I have any uh, in here, I can just choose my existing ones. But if you want to upload a brand new one, you can just come over here and click on upload. Very, very easy to use. Now, over here on the form, again, this is easy to use. Now, let's say you don't need company name. You can just go ahead, highlight it, delete that, click on OK. Now, that's gone. Tax number, we probably don't need that. I'm going to delete that until you are left with um, all the... Um, areas that you are interested in. So for example, here, the phone number is not necessary as well. So this is how I would customize my form. Now notice that each and every item here has been uh, customized. Now over here, we have these two options of uh, PayPal and Stripe. Now, these are very, very important because this is how you're going to be able to collect your money when customers buy from your website. Now here we have your buy now button. And with this buy now button as well, you can you know pretty much go in and uh, customize it. Now we also have an option for pop-ups. So this is pretty much a fully featured system where you can add your pop-ups, pretty much everything you normally see in a um, system that sells products or services online. We have it here on system.io. Okay, so let's say I'm done here. I can just click on save. And then if I need to view this, you look at this uh, eye icon, you click on that. And now this is going to show the landing page, but this is in preview mode. So you can see here. Now I forgot to mention as well that this is also mobile friendly. Now let's take a look at other features. So over here, this is where you have your newsletters. So if you want to send emails out to uh, everyone or all your customers, this is where you'd create your uh, campaign. So you want to click here on create. And again, if this is your subject line, sender name, and this is the sender email. And this is where you have your template. So it's very, very easy to set and very, very easy to use. Now, while we're here on the emails, we also have our statistics. So you can actually take a look at your stats here and see how your emails are performing. All right, so moving on, we also have automations. Now, this is what I really like. This is almost like having people work for you behind the scenes. So this is where you can set system.io to do certain tasks as things are happening on your website. So here you can see uh, this one here is new sale. I can actually, this is the one I created by, earlier on, by the way. So here we can say when uh, this is the trigger, when someone uh, purchases or I get a new sale, this is what I've done here. I've added a tag, which is called bought DV Design Guide Pro. Now I can also add more items to this. If I need to delete this, I can always delete that by clicking here on delete rule. Now adding an action, just click here on this plus button. And let's say they were subscribed on a specific uh, mailing list. You can always come over here and click uh, on unsubscribe. And then you can choose the campaign to unsubscribe them from. So there's a list of things here that you can go in and automate. You can even enroll them in a course automatically once they have purchased something here. So as you can see, the automation is fantastic. You don't have to go in and do anything manually. Now, let's say you want to uh, set up more options for your products. This is where you would come. If I hover over here, you can see we have physical products, we have orders, coupons, courses, and so on. So this is where you'd come and set up all your courses if you wanted to do so. So here you can see I have web design secrets. If I need to add a new course, I can just click here on add new course. Now, this course building system is very, very easy to use. And I mean, it's unbelievable how easy this is. So let's say you want to add your course title. You can say Mac course and uh, instructor name. You can see say Mac and then you can just add your description here. So over here, you can choose your theme. So I'm going to go with beige. And then here is where you can upload your teacher's photo. You can upload your logo here and the course cover. So it's very, very straightforward to, to, to do. And then once you're happy with that, just click on save. Okay, so you can see here we have Mac course. So I want to go to this one here, which I've already created and show you how easy this is. So I've just created one lesson here called how to choose colors. So if I click here, this is what the UI looks like. So you have a space here for a video if it's a video that you want to add. And then over here you have all your titles and then your description and pretty much 
what the course is about. If you need to add any more items here, if you want to add audios, for example, you can just drag and drop it there. And now this is the audio that they can listen to in the course. If there's a video, you can just drag and drop your video just like that. And you can drag it pretty much wherever you want. If you want to add an image, again, it's just drag and drop. Now, over here, we also have our Facebook comments, but obviously this needs to be connected with Facebook. So there's a lot that we can do here. We also have a table of contents here. Now, moving on, we have also this feature here called communities. Now, this is fantastic because imagine, let's say you create a product and you want to have people uh, who have purchased your product to be part of your community so that you can support them even more. This is where you can create this. Now, I haven't tried this, but this feature here is a game changer. Now, let's come over here and click on communities and see how easy it is to create one. So I'm going to come over here to click on create, and then I'm going to call this side crafters. And this is going to be the path. And then I'm going to say enabled. So I'm curious now to see what this is going to look like. So here it is. Now, if I need to go to the settings, I can just come over here to settings. So these, this right now is disabled. I can now come over here and click on enable, click on save. Look at that. <laughs> Isn't it amazing? So we have our members here. We also have our settings here for our communities. I mean, our community settings, you can add an image. So this is super, super powerful. In fact, I am going to be uh, creating this so that I can manage all my uh, communities. Now over here on the settings, this is where you can see your transactions, your subscriptions, your affiliate invoices, and system.io also comes with an affiliate program. So if you want to sell your courses or your digital products, you can also create an affiliate program where people can sell the products on your behalf and you can pay them a percentage of whatever sale that is made. And all this is within system.io. So as you can see, there's a lot of features all in one and this is super amazing. Now, if you wanna make uh, major changes or most changes in system.io, you wanna come over here to the top and then click on settings. So this is where you would go in and pretty much add all your information. So you can see here, I've added my name, uh, my business uh, details, and this is my account, my plan, payment gateways. Now this is important because you need to create this beforehand because this is how you are going to get paid through either Stripe or PayPal. But if you wanna use any one of these, of course you can go ahead and use that. Now over here, you can manage your subscriptions, you have your emails here, you have your courses, you have your sales funnels and so on. So. This is where you would add your tracking code if you want to uh, track using, uh, let's say, Facebook or even Google Ads. Here we have your affiliate program. Now that I've used system.io for over um, a year and a half, I can safely say that this is a very solid platform if you want to sell anything online, literally anything online. You can sell digital products. You can also sell physical products, subscriptions, and so on. When you take a look at, uh, let's say, someone who has a great idea and they just want to come and sell their product or services, there are two options. There's WordPress, where you have to go in and really customize the whole system to make it work. Or you have this all-in-one system, which is system.io, which has pretty much all the features that you need in order for you to sell your products or your services. So I highly recommend this system because it definitely works. You can see here I made over 27,000 just using system.io. So I would say if you want to sell any products or services, you can start very, very quick with system.io. So I give this a five out of five without a doubt. And you know that concern that I had about um, me owning my data? You can export all your customers from system.io, which means that you're not stuck into a system that is going to withhold all your information. All right, guys, let me know what you think. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Take care.